On August 23rd, 2024, Busch Gardens Tampa announced that they will be closing down Scorpion, their Schwarzkopf Looper, on September 2nd. This announcement really came out of nowhere, and it was quite unexpected. There's no markers around the ride, and they announced this a week before they plan on closing it, which means you don't really have much time to ride it. Usually, roller coasters, when they plan on closing down, it's usually announced four weeks to a month before they close it. Here, it's just a week. Now, they did state that this closure is for future thrills. So, Scorpion is the second roller coaster in a row to close at the park. Last year, their Wild Mouse Sand Serpent closed in replace of their new for 2024 B uh, Phoenix Rising and all new B&M Family Inverted Coaster. You probably remember a few years ago that there were rumors that Busch Gardens Tampa was planning on removing Kumba, their B&M sit down. That's when a lot of people got mad and frustrated and everybody didn't want Kumba to be removed from the park. So I think that's when the park looked at something else to be removed and they looked at either Sand Serpent or Scorpion. Scorpion opened at the park in 1980, so there could be a few reasons why Busch Gardens Tampa wanted it to be removed. I don't think it's because of maintenance issues, but I think it could be because of either low ridership or it's just the end of its service life. There's a lot of other rides that are more popular than Scorpion. Scorpion is mostly a ride for families, especially for kids that really want to experience their first inversion. But you look at Busch Gardens Tampa's coaster lineup, and they have tons of roller coasters that really serve that family and thrills gap. They just opened up Phoenix Rising, which really serves that demographic. You could also say Cheetah Hunt is in that demographic as well. Cheetah Hunt only has one inversion, and it's, mo and it's a lot more popular of a ride than Scorpion. So I think a lot of families are heading towards Cheetah Hunt than Scorpion. Now, what could happen in the future in that land where Scorpion is? They tease for future thrills. Now, the land where Scorpion is is pretty much landlocked, so they might have to make a few adjustments. I know a lot of people are saying that their next coaster could be a Giga. Like I said, with the land it's in, they will have to make major adjustments. There's a lot of buildings in that area, and there's also Stanley's Fall Flume, right next to the ride. So there's a chance they could remove that ride and clear a few buildings in that area if they want to try to get a Giga. But that's just my thoughts on what could possibly happen in the future. So I'd like to hear from you in the comments. What do you think about, what do you think is coming where Scorpion is? And what do you think about Scorpion being retired? And subscribe for more Costumonium videos and I'll catch you guys later.